Colorado yesterday I think it was like in the triple digits and like a smoke storm out here and today it's freezing and snowing and yesterday was technically Labor Day for normal people but as the cameraman pointed out it was actually label day so for an update for the product they'll be releasing we printed the labels we got the prototype and we'll keep you in a loop about that but I wanted to show y'all some of Colorado <laughs> it's like we skipped fall and we're gonna do our breath work out here in the snow we might not even have to go to the creek today all right, keep keep breaking normal, y'all. <laughs> Live your life. Go for it. Go for the gusto at night. I alluded to earlier before you saw us on our breathing set that we're committed to I was talking about yesterday was label day if this is the first time you've seen the tribe vitamins vlog what tribe vitamins is is actually right now is a video series of me releasing my first product um, a physical product and it's in the supplement industry dietary supplement um, I mentioned if you watch the early ones it's like gonna be great for athletes this, this is a funny meme we have printed on the bottle right now we're gonna play with it and see if it's even allowed because Matt yeah. has been in this industry a lot longer than I have so we're gonna talk a little bit about it here while we're enjoying this snowy summer day in Colorado exactly. <laughs> the snowy summer day. That's really sweet. it's amazing um, but basically it's gonna be great for athletes uh, what a pregnant moms recovering vegans even recovering alcoholics um, we, we don't know if that's gonna be allowed on the label but we're learning this whole process out loud because I was highly inspired by my friend Ryan Daniel Moran who's been on the breaking Roll podcast he just recently published a book called 12 months to 1 million and I've listened to it recently and Matt you're in the midst of it yeah yeah you referred to me and I downloaded it and I, I'm probably like halfway through and it, it's been really great so far yeah and I learned the, a lot and the coconut shell we're doing what it's instructing yeah it, it basically part of the strategy is to create a video blog or a blog or definitely let your audience know of the process of you creating the prototype we got the labels printed mm -hmm. yesterday I got the product in my pantry um and how us going through the process until the launch date and making it a big launch and basically creating a a product that can or a brand a brand that launches with one individual product to an individual niche based on scratching your own itch something that you're looking for that might not exist in the marketplace how you want it to and I I've, I've found the product mm -hmm. and the product found me. It found you. I was going to say, yeah. with all the stuff that's happened to you, I think it's found you. So I'm so excited to release it. I would love to hear from Matt too, like uh, to, we can discuss the book because for, uh, for Ryan's sake and everyone that's following that book and anyone that's interested in it, I highly encourage you to check it out. If you're interested in creating a brand and leveraging Amazon, Spotify, social media, and this strategy to potentially create a million dollar business in 12 months. Yeah, I agree. And a little bit about my background. I've been in the natural product supplement, um, CBD hemp industry for the last four years. Um, I've had a couple brands myself and helped up a couple other brands as well um, launch. And one thing I loved about that book is just that overall, it's kind of helped gear towards like getting people off the ground quickly in 12 months, um, building something out of they love and connecting with the audience and that they're passionate about and that they um, can relate with really well. Um, and that's probably my first part of the book that I took away was just that really connecting with like your audience and owning, like scratching your own niche and finding like, what is it that interests you? Because whatever you're interested in um, and kind of create and solve a problem for a certain niche that, you know, scratching your own niche, um, there's other people out there that are interested in, in, interested in as well, especially in the internet era. I feel like there's a ton of, you know, like it's easier for people to find these little niches through searches and stuff. And so, you know, there's it's easy ways to create um, a good audience and, and easily kind of, 
um, engage with them now through the social media tools. So that was one of my top ones. What, what were some of yours on the book? I mean, well, firstly, it so resonates with me just to reverberate with what he's saying. I used to have the Breaking Normal Cool Bus and mm -hmm. it had what's most personal is most universal. Yeah. And like he really drives that point home. Like, what are you looking for? This is based on your, it's like a, it makes it a passion project. And to me, that's how it'll last. If you're just trying to guess what people want and yeah. you're not passionate about it, that's going to fizzle out real fast. So I, I so happen, like, be based on the frequency of synchronicity, being in connection with the right people, that book, the timing, mm -hmm. I believe I'm going to have a product that I don't know where else to get <laughs> in my own hands and for my roommate that's pregnant and for other people that might want it. And it seems like a lot might want it based on my research, uh, probably before Christmas, maybe before Thanksgiving. And I'm just thankful for Ryan kind of giving me like that kick in the ass through the, yeah, book, the book at the right really time. Book. And what I really enjoy about that book is this simple strategy of him being redundant almost about finding that niche, mm -hmm. scratching that own itch, targeting that, don't worrying about the competition, mm -hmm. being completely concerned with the customer and the connection that you have with that customer. And bring value to them too. And one product with an idea of having three to five products in the back end that can be released once you hit 25 sales a day on Amazon. And I just, I have some friends that I've been like, I'm not gonna, let's just say I have an awesome friend who I would say is such a great entrepreneur and she uh, struggled for like a decade financially. Yeah. But she did this. She did this before this book would come out. Okay. And she's just rocking. She's like rocking I'm so it, yeah. proud and happy for her. And I've seen other people do this on Amazon and I shop on Amazon and I know that's, that's a bigger conversation about where our commerce and economy yeah. is going right now. But I, right now, Amazon's a gold mine yeah, for someone that can that. think exactly. and, and like take action and like really think for your own passion. And that's why I'm inspired by this project. I agree. I agree. And then having someone that's in the industry for a lot longer than me that can help me set this up so you can get this in your hands <laughs> is I was stoking my fire in the midst of the snow. And really, for anyone that's watching this that might want to get involved, I'm not going to give the exact details of what it is, but if you know you want to like get involved in this product, whether uh, it's a customer or an influencer or something even bigger, get feedback too. Definitely let too. us know. I mean, the, uh, our friend Elliot, who's holding the camera, <laughs> he was in Colorado for like 10 extra days and it, he wanted to be up here with us and he wanted to help with this product. And he's basically been the main person that sketched the label that I think we're going to keep. Yeah, you killed it. You, I, you killed it, man. Nailed it. Like <laughs> the people I've sent it to, they're so like, I want that. What is that? Yeah, exactly. You did a great job on it for sure. So you I'm excited. Really excited. Yeah. Someone else might be watching this and just feel the call to get involved, and we're. I'm open. I'm open about that. Um, that's kind of how this happened. I stayed open to like, what is, what do I want? Like Ryan really got me asked, what do I want? What product do I want? What product do I want? It doesn't exist, and and it happened. Yeah. And now I'm in the storm. <laughs> I'm in the storm of creating it. And I'm stoked. The fun part. Yeah, the fun the, part yeah. Part. Yeah, the creation stage. And one of the tactics, by the way, is for you to build a brand that might, that will be competition to acquire from bigger brands. Mm -hmm. And that's an interesting uh, just thing for me to like start that, to see the end in mind before yeah. beginning and not being attached to that end. Yeah. But it's also, I think, a powerful concept. Yeah, I think it's that, you know, if you're connecting with your audience and that demographic, there's that's what the you know the bigger brands and the people that are buying are looking to uh, acquire is those ones that are like have a target audience that are like sold and whatever they come out with you know they're gonna buy because they you've built some trust with them um you know you like them and all those kind of things and that's kind of one thing that i think ryan mentioned in that book was you know overall like really getting uh engaged with your customers from the beginning like getting to know them finding feedback um you know giving them feedback on these videos and just telling them what you guys are excited for or what you're not um, I think is really important because every customer matters and every person matters. And, you know, I think it's big to just pay attention on the first parts of those customers. So, yeah, I'm happy you bring that up because that's you. He's talking about you who's watching this that might be <laughs> interested in getting this. And I totally that's what's exciting me about creating a product versus just doing uh, edutaining videos, which I've been doing for a decade now. And Mark Sisson is like one of his case studies. And that's what he did. Mark Sisson did Mark's Daily Apple probably for 10 years or something or more. And now he has Primal Kitchen. Which got which acquired, <laughs> which got acquired shops, yeah. in a big way. You can look at the book to fact check this, but maybe from Heinz for two hundred million dollars. And some people might think that's weird, but Heinz is just a huge ass company. And if they see a trend that people want healthier condiments, then they're, yeah, they're gonna get on that bandwagon too.
And you already have the trust bill from yeah, you know, so, all the videos you did at the beginning and the hard work. What I'm thinking, I've seen comments on these videos, people like, I've been, I still have my dinosaur wiener t-shirt, I've been watching from the beginning, or like, the Rob Ross are back. <laughs> like, yeah, this is my opportunity to actually interact with you in a way that I think will be much bigger than just comments. I definitely appreciate the comments, leave them. I'm gonna see if I can start replying to them. Um, at least for some time now, building up to this product, but I'll be so curious to see the impact of this product on your life mm -hmm. and talk about it and figure it out together of how to make it as best as possible. But I think we have a strong start mm -hmm. and I'm stoked. Yep, I agree. And I'm, I appreciate, you know, working with you on this and, and everything. And I, you know, to the audience, businesses are becoming easier and easier to create. And, you know, people don't have to go back to that nine to five job and they could actually, you know, do something they love, connect with an audience they love. and. Um, serve people, serve people like a problem that they love. So I, I really think that there's a lot of opportunities. It's easier and easier right now in e-commerce. So it's a good time. And, uh, and I'm, I have I'm happy plenty. to walk through this journey with you. I actually, I have plenty of ideas for someone that might want to replicate this process that might be lacking like the creative process. I have plenty of ideas that I think would do so well with this strategy, but I got to pick one. I got to make a decision and not making a decision is a decision that I think slows the most people down. Yeah. So I'm making a decision. I'm moving forward and excited for you to join. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, I know, I'm feeling good. I'm, yeah. I'm loving the oh, snow too. Together. This is good. Awesome. This is good. It was. It was a, apparently snow. in Colorado in some parts yesterday. It was like 100 degrees, I think, and really smoky. Welcome to today. Yeah, 24 hours ago we were out <laughs> of the river. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> was jumping in. So yeah. welcome to today. Welcome it's to quick, Colorado. Quick change. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep them coming. I'm excited to hear from you. Peace. Later.